there, everybody. My name is Cheddarak, and welcome back to Outlast. Except this time around, we're going to be playing Whistleblower, which is a very highly critically acclaimed DLC that follows the original storyline, but is actually a prequel to the game. So I'm very excited to see what it has to offer for us. And I really can't wait to start playing it, so let's get right in, shall we? Um, no thank you. What are you doing to my hands? You cannot do that. Open those eyes. We don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. What's the matter? Ow! Somebody hit you? Here. Let me help. Ah! What the? Kind of busy here. It sounds like real trouble. At the engine, they said Hope made a lateral ascension. What do you hope? They're not happy about it? No. What shit. the? F shit, shit, shit. Come on. What is happening? He licked me. That's gross. Oh, I'm seeing the images that they were showing to people from the uh, Morphonic engine. Two hours earlier. So am I am I a journalist too? Oh! We 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 found that! Didn't we? Isn't that a a, 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 a thing we found in the first game? I say first game. <laughs> in the in this regular game. So I'm not a journalist then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we found that. Uh, okay. So there's my co there's my coffee, so conveniently labeled for me in case I forgot. Um, hi. They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent at the engine. Okay. What are you doing in here anyway? I thought you were just a software. Oh, okay, so I'm an engineer. That's cool! Hello. My name is Whal Whalen Park. All righty. Price Whalen, hurry up! They're waiting on you. I'm, I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. So impatient. Ah, you're cutting it close. Next place is incoming an arterial spin. We need you at the front. Wow, there's like actually people here. This is weird. We need this park guy in here now. Tell him he's got 50. Park. Finally. Where have you been? Functional imaging in faces and talking to the ASL. Isn't the dude who licked me? Patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. Call into the chamber. Ask them to delay. No. I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is going to have us up and running before we even know it. I am an expert at morphonic engine stuff. Oh, system error code 16. Okay, Mr. Park? Well, don't worry. It's only system code error 16. I mean, I do that in my sleep. Park. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? Yeah. I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. Fuck me, they're bringing him in. No, no, not again. No, no. So. So they're like putting a guy into one of the like the bubbles. Oh, hi. Hey, calm yourself. This is a high security. It's all right, agent. Mr. Park was just surprised. I mean, I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll just sit down after seeing someone get forced into a tube. Head will need to roll if the fusion monitoring is not active when we put him in the engine. Five seconds. Four. Three. Oh, that looks painful. 
good. That doesn't look good at all. Eddie Gluskin. Who's Eddie Gluskin? You're finished, Mr. Oh, Park. hi. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honest. Uh, his face was like already starting to like deteriorate. That was weird. I need to get my laptop from the server room. You guys, you don't know me. Uh, Mr. Whalen Park, I can do. Whalen Park can do what Whalen Park wants. So, server room, server room. Does whatever a server. Oh hi! Oh hi! Ow! Down! Hands where I can see him. Uh, uh, all right, I, I did. I didn't do anything. Mr. Whalen Park, consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level three security clearance. That's me. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Hey! Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Oh, it sounded like a good idea at the time. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than that's stupid. I, I, that's just hurtful. That was crazy. That was hurtful. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Mr. Park, will committed. you willingly submit to forced confinement? Did you hear that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. I most certainly did not. Oh, and... Uh, did I just hear Mr. Whalen Park volunteer for the Morphogenic Engine program? No. That's what I heard, Mr. Blair. That was brave indeed, Whalen. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. What a you dick! You administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. I don't need an- Ow! Yeah, it's not an anesthetic, it's a fist in my face. And that's a butt of a gun. And that was the old tip of the boot. Okay, so this is this is an awful start <laughs> so far. It's interesting though. I, I, I'm kind of hoping they shed more light on like the engine. All right, so I'm seeing the images now. Oh, so this is back like before. Okay. I, uh, I'm not looking at the screen, but I can still see stuff around me. Okay. Uh, oh. It's the wall rider. Oh shit. Oh. What? Why is the wall rider here? Camera. It's like Cameron's older brother. I'm still gonna call him Cameron, though. I fucked up. Oh, God, where am I? Hours could have passed, or weeks. My brain still was static. They made me watch the engine. I have to get help. I have to call help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope this evidence on it does what I, what I couldn't expose the truth. Lisa, baby, I'm sorry I fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. Uh, I'm assuming... Lisa's- oh, Jesus! Alright, I'm assuming Lisa's his wife. That's... How do I... Oh, flower. Pretty flower! Fucking... I'll open you up. Open you up and show you! Make you fur. You ain't right there. Um... I'm not gonna wait for you. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go. That, that's the thing we're gonna do. Oh. Well, they're stabbing a doctor. So that's a thing. Oh, hi, Wall Rider! Oh, what do, what do I do? How do I get in? Oh. Come hi. join our therapy session. No. Take the blade. Keep around with your friend here. Get a little red on their hands. It's always helpful. Um. 
You keep it bottled up too long and you might do something you regret. No, thank you. You want to lose? Too good for the likes of us? Think you're different? Something special? Uh, this seems there a little unnecessary. No servers here. Now, get the f*** out of here before I change my mind. You don't have to tell me that twice. I will absolutely go. You, we are not on the same level. Alright. Oh, hi! Ow! Come back here! What was that for? I, I thought I thought we were friends. That guy closed the door for me. What a friend. Ah, uh, back to our... Yeah. We get out of here through reception, and then we're tactical cleaning up. If they get here in time, we need help now. If we get them on the radio, the National Guard could be here with it. We don't even know the radio works. It's shortwave. If the prison's got electricity, they've got signals, and the lights are on. All right, so we had an idea of what we're supposed to be doing now. Yeah, I know. We need to get to that radio. Outside help. Outside I'll get to the radio. There's a radio in the prison. It's shortwave. If I, it's electronic, I can make it talk, make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My mistake was subtlety. Like you always said, I thought leaking information to a few journals was a safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkoff is dangerous. I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa, and for the boys. But I should have exposed what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone. I can't die. Not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken, too dangerous. So I guess I'm the guy who was leaving a lot of those notes around in the very first game for our character. Ouch. That was a fall. Hi, friend. Hi, friend. Let's move this. Hi, friend. Bye. Goodbye. I'm just gonna leave you in there. We won't have to deal with you ever again. Hopefully. Wasn't there just people in this room? I don't know. Um. Kind of sounds like a... A wall rider kind of thing. No? Is that... Oh, I'm a doctor. I need to get hold of my. You're not security. I was. I'm a patient like you. Stole these clothes from a dead body I found. You, you just said you were a doctor. Please, just push the button. Open the door. We can get out of here together. All right. You seem good enough. No, no, no. Oh. No, no, no. Is that the same guy no, no. we saw earlier? He seems to have a thing about doctors. I don't know what it is, though. I've never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today. Murdered and worse. I looked into the one man's eyes as another tore him to pieces, claimed he was a doctor, then saw the rags they dressed me in changed his story. Said he was a patient. It could have been either. They're all crazy, all sick. No real difference between them now. Therapy is spreading... And what am I? I watched this man die and only thought, it's not me, thank God. I know I'll die someday. I don't want to be murdered. I mean, that's what I really like about Outlast as a game in general, is that I feel like they always did a good job of, like, like, the fact that, like, you are an incredibly scared man. You know, you're not, like, oh gosh. I don't like that music. Alright, Deacon him But yeah, like, you always play like, you know... Oh, was it the wall rider? I don't know. But you always play like a scared, regular guy. You're not like, you know, any kind of like... Specific person. Like, the journalist in the first... Like, in the... In the... In the... In the, in the sequel to this. You know, that... that, that I, I think that's interesting. Um... What do I do? Ooh, what's this? Document. This is from Blair Merc. Oh, that's the guy that that 
All right, Mrs. Grant. Uh, or wait, Miss Grant. You may receive requests from information from a Miss Lisa Park. Oh, that must be my wife, Lisa. In the coming weeks, concerning the resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Waylon. If so, please, please forward them to my personal attention. So I, that, that okay, so that is my wife. Okay. Waylon Park is resigning due to a previously an undiagnosed mental illness. I personally visited Miss Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them with the silver lining that the Murkoff Psychiatric would be graciously providing treatment. Miss Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkoff Corporation. I assured her that with her powers of attorney, she could try to fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, it was if it were discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be canceled and his family would be saddled with not insignificant health care debts. Hopefully she understands, but if she insists on making a nuisance of herself or tries to get around to me, please let me know. I want to take care of this one personally. Yours, Jeremy Blair. Ah, so he basically knows. He knew what he was doing. I wonder if he's going to be like a, a character like involving it. I, mean, I would imagine so, being that he, you know, it seems to be like the... He seems like he's the head honcho. <clears throat> Oh, that's terrible. When you zoom in, it makes that awful noise. Um, all right. Come on, Cammy. Just you and me now. Uh, I think I... It sounds awful. I always like the heavy breathing, too. Like, I like... Kind of goes back with like him being a regular guy. Really sits the tone in these games. Now I'm in a cooler. Ah, oh, that's gross, sir. Oh my gosh, look at all these dead people. Who is that? Don't you look at us. I love him. He loves him. Don't ask to see my body, Lisa. When I die, when you finish the lawsuits, I let you pry this footage from Murkoff's army of lawyers and corporate hitmen. Don't make them show you my body. Just bury it or burn it. Let my sons remember me whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at me and I see anger, a little desire, but more than anything, hunger. Please don't make them show you my body. Uh, uh. Okay. That's weird. That's very weird. I'm interested to see the kind of characters we meet in this. Um, where? Oh, we're in a bathroom now. Okay, that makes sense. What was that? I don't know. Just gonna keep going. Oh no. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, okay, well, I think that's a good section to start off this game with now. The tone is very set in this game, which I like. Just like with, the, like, the first character, you know, you're very scared, you're very fearful for your life, you really have no idea what's going on around you, and I'm kind of glad that they brought the camera back. I was kind of wondering, like, how they would do another thing without the camera, being that you were a journalist in the first game. So I'm kind of glad that they brought that back, because it's a really cool function of the game. It's really very... It's one of the few games that really, I think, captures the essence of, like, camera recording so this is really awesome i really like the start of this so far i can't wait for the next episode so thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of outlast if you liked it let me know with a like and a comment and you know subscribe if you want to see more videos coming out later and if you haven't seen any of our outlast you know videos so far in the description below you can check out a whole list of videos of outlast that we did in the first playthrough so thank you guys so much again for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye